Hey, hey, so excited to bring this incredible woman for you to meet today. And um, I don't know if you are in B2B or B2C, but if you've ever looked at a industry that you haven't known how to sell before and been able to figure out it in only a week or two, um, definitely stay on here to learn a woman that did. Um, this woman is absolutely incredible. She's a brilliant, brilliant badass when it comes to marketing, when it comes to funnels, when it comes to analyzing data, all the things that I'm definitely not good at. Um, she has a just an eye to want to excel, want to be better. And she came to me originally to learn how to start selling her funnels. And then because of knowing that knowledge, she started selling her clients, uh, leads for her clients and has been able to go into some really cool industries. So I want to bring her up. Elena. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Kayla. It's so nice to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure seeing your face always. I know you're a mama and you're a businesswoman and you have so many roles that you play in your life. Can you just give us like a little insert of like the magic that you bring to this world and who you are? Yeah. So um, my name is Elena Nabi and I'm the founder of the Funnel Stars. Basically, we build funnels for coaches that come to us and um, we are specializing in different funnels. But lately, and thanks to Kayla, we decided to focus on high ticket funnels a lot because we are able to close um, clients for our clients. So their clients, students for our clients. So that's what I do. I also have two kids, 10 years old and five year old. And um, we're living in the beautiful San Diego. It was just there recently. And um, Elena, I think what you're doing is so cool. Uh, somebody that, you know, was trying to figure out the whole lead situation before in my life. Figuring out the funnel is one thing. Trying to bring in leads is one thing. Closing it is a completely other thing. Mm -hmm. And you're doing this for like interesting industries. I know that you did a regular for coaching and then you did some masterclass for something. And now you're in like litigation or something. Can you explain? So I guess we need to start like from the beginning, right? From the moment where um, I met you. Um, and I guess so initially I started as just building funnels. That's what I wanted to do. And um, I knew that I needed to learn the sales skills because no matter what industry you are in, sales is the number one skill that you can apply anywhere and you need to know anywhere. And I knew that I was built in funnels and it happened to be that I met you at the ClickFunnels event back in Orlando. And it's so interesting that I was so scared to actually come, come to you and say hi. So I didn't the first time I saw you. I, di I didn't come to you uh, because, you know, you were like talking to other people and I kind of like I felt shy a little bit. But then when the second time you appeared walking in front of me, I'm like, you know what? If if you are in front of me the second time, and it's a huge event, you know, it's not like there were just a couple people. It's like 5,000 people, right? And here you are walking in front of me again. And I'm like, Kayla, and you turn and like, Oh my God. So I got it because I decided, you know what, I'm going to say hi. And from that moment, you know, when I came back, I joined your challenge, you know, and I didn't go through the whole challenge because I only, I think I only appeared on the last day. Yeah. Well, only last day, literally only last day because um, there was another conversion here, uh, convention here in San Diego. So I couldn't make it to the challenge. So I appeared on the last day. And I just jumped in on a call. I basically, I showed up on your call with a credit card. I remember it. It wasn't just a sales call. I was like, I said, I told you, like, I literally have a credit card right in front of me. So I'm ready. I'm ready to join. So I joined, right? And, but what's interesting that my industry, it's not like a, a woman in sales, like closers, right? Not only I have to enroll people, um, I would say like get clients. I would also have to fulfill on what we need to build, like fulfill like ads, funnels, you know, making sure everything is working, connecting everything in the background, you know, copywriting, all, and it takes time. So I was part of your program, but I felt like I was not taking full advantage of it because here I'm, I got a new client and I have to fulfill it. And then maybe, so I wouldn't have enough calls per day to really practice. Mm -hmm. and then what happened that uh, my health kind of got a uh, sudden turn back in December 
Um, and I actually had to step back and try to figure out what do I want to do next. Yeah. And the good thing is that um, I still felt that, you know, and that, that was the moment when I kind of decided I'm going to step back a little bit. And I believe uh, Russell Brunson, he said that, you know, step back, work quietly, and then show up like a superstar. Mm-hmm. And that's the, the day when I'm like, you know, I'm going to try to figure out on my own what I want to do. So I, I still build funnels, you know. Um, not as much as I wanted because I was trying to figure out what hap- what was happening with my health. But then um, but then what happened that there are a few people that reached out to me from the ClickFunnels and they asked me to build for them a funnel. And I did. And then when I went into their back end CRM, I saw a bunch of leads that were just unattended. Mm. So didn't actually have a system for them to enroll students. Um, and I saw a great result that they were bringing to the people. I saw amazing reviews and I felt like, okay, will you let me help you close for you and enroll student? What's interesting that at that same point, it's right now I'm kind of re- realizing it, but at that point I'm like, let me just try a few, like just get a few people, yeah. you know, and I know my first client, but I didn't tell anyone in the group because I'm like, you know what? It's okay. They're probably super hot. You know, they're like, they're probably... It's not even my job, you know, to close them. I'm like, no, yeah, no. You, no. You, close the, you close the client and yeah. you don't tell anybody. I don't think you. you like $10,000 clients, right? Like they 10K. Were, yeah, 10K. So you close the 10K and you're like, I'm not going to tell anyone because it's a fluke. Is that what you just Yeah, it's, it's like it's a fluke. They're <laughs> hot. You know, the, the bleed was hot. You know, they really wanted to join. You know, it's a fluke. Yeah. And you have to also understand that this the plan that I was closing, he is litigation, you know. So there are certain terms, and I didn't know why in many terms. I was just kind of like following the script. The one that everything that we were practicing inside the inside the, the uh, you know inside the group, you know, uh, on like on our coaching calls, you know. Oh, so you, did they not give you a script? You were using my script. I was using your script. Yes, I knew. Well, they don't. They didn't have a script. I was using your script. Well, I was using, of course, there's like general script, but I would change it to the industry, right? Yeah. So I would adjust your script to the industry. And I realized how versatile it is that now whenever a client is going to come to me, I will adjust the script to their industry. But yeah. it's in that. I Hold on. I'm going to get into this. So, so you go to the back of their, of their system, you see all these leads and you're like, hmm, I'm going to just call these leads and see what happens. And you, you have, we have I ask the permission first if it's okay. Ask permission. Hey, can yeah. I try to close these leads? You use my script. We call these people. You close yeah. the ten thousand dollar deal. Okay, on. okay, and it didn't just end there. What happened next? No, like now I feel like okay, it's a fluke. The lead is hot. That yeah. that can't be true. Like you know, ten k. I mean, that's okay. And then I do the second lead, reach out, and then um, and the way how we build the funnel, it's actually it's interesting that we. We specifically, we choose the hottest leads reach out to us because our email sequence asked them to reach out to us first. Mm-hmm. So lead is already kind of like want to get on the mentorship. But what I found out is that's not enough. So you still need to close them on a call. You need to really understand what their uh, pains are right now. What do they want, you know, and kind of like even make it that even if you join, it's okay. If they don't join, it's okay. Like the tonality is very important, extremely important. And so interesting that after a while, I started I started like having uh, too many calls. Like today, I had seven or eight calls. Oh wow! And I feel like at the end of the calls, your tonality is becoming less exciting, and I guess you feel like a little bit more tired. And people enroll in more better, I guess, because you get so tired that you're not excited anymore. They're like, yeah. does she really want me to be part of this mentor like program? I'm going to sign up. So it's interesting. But anyways, uh, coming back to that client, um, I thought that the first one was a fluke. And then I closed the second one. Mm. Okay. And then I closed the third one. Shit. All right. And then I closed the fourth one. And, and that's kind of like told you like, okay, I closed the four, four people. And I made 40, like I closed a 40K for a client. Oh, my God. And then uh, last week I closed one more. Like, you know, so I made 50K. I think, oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's like now I at least I see there is, you know, it wasn't the fluke. 
Yeah. And this wasn't even the main source of income. Like you were, you were, the client was your funnels, but because you yeah. knew how to close, now you can have more yeah. money. So now, now what we offer when people come to us to build a funnel, so we're not just going to build you a funnel. We can actually help you close. And actually, it's not just going to be me. Yeah. I probably need to hire somebody also to help me, you know, get to clients and close. So we see like now we can control the lead from the moment the lead comes into my client's space mm -hmm. all the way to them becoming actually a student or like enrolling in the program. So, and I guess that gives me extra control. And that's why it gives me more success because before I would do like, a, a funnel and then I would not know what's going to happen later on but now we can say hey we built this funnel and it's already brought 50k now do you see the difference so it's kind of like it also reflects really good on uh our yeah, yeah on the yeah. marketing side you're like hey, hey look how much money I was able to bring through this thing yeah exactly yeah. With the right skills too so you don't like hoping and praying on their skills because I see that a lot with people that build funnels you know that they get paid on the backside they get frustrated because somebody isn't closing yeah 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 so that's all of that in the script i'll tell you something the script works um and just it's not like here's the thing i i even didn't follow the script to tell the truth i kind of like have like certain questions that i really want to ask as long as it's just flowing because the main goal is to really understand the person that you're talking to and get to know them and connect with them and the questions are there is to kind of bring more information from them so that you can, you know, keep the conversation going. So you also make them think, think about their future, mm -hmm. think about how long have been experiencing, you know, the pain and how much do they want to get out of that pain, right? And kind of portraying this beautiful picture. And some of the questions are just brilliant. You know, like when I was like asking this question, like, oh my God, this is such a brilliant question. Like, you know, just them answering it, it was wonderful because I'm like, that's it. They sold, they literally sold themselves. Like, yeah, I need to. And sometimes, you know what, because the questions were so nicely, um, the flow of questions was done so like, so smooth that sometimes I was like, hey, we don't need to go to the next question. The, the person was ready to buy. Yeah. The but, was uh, I think that, you know, you having a, an ability to ask questions for somebody to persuade themselves is like the key. You don't have to do anything, right? As long as you're there and you're connected and you care and you're asking it, questions for them to realize that they have a problem and that you can solve it, it's the easiest way because then you won't have so many objections that come up like at the end too, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, the thing is that about objections that I actually reached out to Emily because I was I was like getting those objections. I'm like, okay, where, where, how do I get to those? Um, how do I overcome them? Right. So Emily did send me the like help. She sent me the document. I'm like, mm -hmm. so now what I do, I actually try to spot like spouse objection. Right. When they mention wife or husband, immediately, even I don't get, I don't wait till the end. I'm like, well, like that's the right question. You know, <laughs> that's the right questions. And you know what? It works. It's, it's, it really works. I'm like, I'm not even trying to make it like bigger, better, whatever. It, it, it's the reality, you know, because when I joined this client and he was basically in litigation and all of the terms of CRA, of DCPA, like, you know, literally like how to file a lawsuit and like, I'm like, seriously, I don't even understand like yeah. how, and it's so interesting. The first person I talked to, he was talking about me, this stuff. And then literally, I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like, I'm trying <laughs> because, you know, I'm just, that, I'm trying that. It's not like I've tried, like, hey, I'm going to be a closer. I'm going to close. I'm just saying, like, can it? Yeah. <laughs> He's talking to me. And you know what? All I do is I skip the, like, terms and I kind of, like, follow the script. <laughs> you know what? Because, like, okay, I understand. Yes, this and this. But let me get back because, again, like, our, and the thing is, here's the thing. We can say um, a lot of technical terms, but in reality, uh, whatever we're trying to help them is supposed, it's kind of like a vehicle that will lead them to a certain result in their life. Whether everyone wants to buy a home, 
Everyone wants to buy a car. Everyone wants to go to travel. Everyone wants to spend more time with their family, right? With their kids. They want to homeschool. They want to send their kids to private school. You just need to find what they want. But usually the want is the same. Have financial freedom, right? It's all the same. You just need to find it. So it, you don't need legal terms. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you don't need to know uh, the person that you're closing for like their industry inside out, because as long as you can tap into person's emotions, that will, it works miraculously. Yeah, no, you're right. No, people buy with emotion. They don't buy with logic. And when you have skills, like that's why we're able to train in 148 different industries now. You know, it was really interesting. Like coaching she then started training insurance, started training solar and then logistics. And like, it's been really interesting because I first was like scared right? I was scared of like going in and training, you know, um, like a, a, an industry that maybe I wasn't as familiar with. Like I, all I need to look at a script and then I can reiterate, right? But it was kind of scary when I first was like, oh, I had to take this on. Um, now I'm a little bit of an overachiever and I've been like studying that industry like crazy person just because I want to make sure I know everything that everyone's talking about. Mm -hmm. But it was really interesting to me that everything fitted so easily because when you understand how to sell, you can sell anything. Mm -hmm. The structure is important. If you can tap into someone's emotions, if you know how to bring them to pain, make them feel a gap, make them feel like they need you to solve a problem, mm -hmm. right? be the problem finder, right? Like mm -hmm. you can sell in any industry, it doesn't matter. And then you can go as far as you want to go. You know, 20 year olds that are making 120 grand a month in insurance, mm -hmm. stupid you know, about possibilities here. Yeah. And you know what? I'll tell you like the close, like, and it's interesting that here, uh, a great comparison, right? We build funnels. So we close the client. Now we have to do all the work and the work can take a week, two weeks, going back and forth with the client. So it's like the work just starting. When you're closer, you close, you get a commission, you're done. That's yep. it. You don't need to fulfill. You just need to show up on those calls, close the client, and then the client, the coach, or whoever, they fulfill, you know? Okay. You just come and just, like, show up, hear the hear the person, really understand what they're going through, see whether this program is the right fit for them, you know? Make them think that, you know, you tr you try and really um, help them. And you know what? Actually, I don't even try, I don't even try to... I'm. I'm not faking it, you know, when I'm on the calls, I really try to understand the person, you know, and put myself in their shoes. And I guess that was the success that me, even not knowing a lot about the industry and litigation and law, I was able to close because I was able to understand what they were going through and propose them a solution. And I guess that's what I like about what you teach because um, you're all about, you know, um, and this is different than from everything I've seen because you, even though there is a script, but there is also um, a component where you really need to understand the other person and listen to them and don't push for sale. That's the whole idea is like actually don't push it by making them understand that you it's not um, it's not something that is required for them to purchase, but yet you you make everything, everything before you basically make them sell themselves, right? And they decide to join. And it, it's kind of, it's their idea. Okay, I'm joining. They're like, it's not your idea, I'm joining. I'm like, okay. And then you are the closing, like, yes, it's your idea, you're joining. But technically, I ask the right questions, you know? So to yeah. bring up uh, out of you um, and the, yeah. And that's it. How does it make you feel? Like knowing that you are able to go into an industry that you didn't understand and be able to close like this and now add this, you know, service to your, you know, personal clients. Like, how does that make you feel internally? Oh, I know that if I can do litigation and law, I mean, like, gosh, I can do any other industry. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, maybe doctors, <laughs> that's probably the next thing. Surgeons, doctors, yeah, but. You know, um, the charms are pretty difficult there, but definitely it, me it makes you it makes you feel powerful, you know. And I guess it also makes me feel more fulfilled mm -hmm. uh, from the because I know that I can help my clients and I can serve them at a higher level. Yeah, absolutely. I love it.
Um, I'm really, really proud of you, Elena, like you stepping in, especially when you were going through the whole health thing, you know, December, that was really scary, you know, and you like taking the time to reevaluate and refocus and kind of figure out where you need to go and receiving and listening to your intuition. I think it's really, really, really beautiful. If uh, anyone here is like watching this and is kind of like on the edge of like whether or not they should get sales training, they're like, oh, I don't know. Like, this is kind of scary. Like, what advice would you give them? Because you were sitting there with your credit card, like ready to go. And that's not everyone. Not everyone's like, hey, I'm ready for change or ready to or ready to develop. What would you say to those people? That's actually a really good question because today I had the person that was scared to join the program. Mm. The one that I was getting. And the reason why she was scared because my uh, she had um, she already was in kind of mentorship a year ago. She paid twenty five hundred dollars, and actually it made the situation worse that she was in, and she was scared. And what I told her that it's absolutely normal to be scared. Actually, if she wasn't scared, if she was just super confident, I would be worried because you know by having a bad experience in the past, of course, it's normal. But what I'm saying that growth never feels comfortable. Mm-hmm. It never feels comfortable. We have to take, we have to take the step, the necessary step to grow. And if we're feeling comfortable, it means we're not growing. So if there is this doubt or fear, it just know that you're going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like you know, having buying a house and having a mortgage. Initially, those three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars might might be scary. Oh my God, how can I be able to pay it off? But then when you look at it like two, three years back and like, mm, that's okay. I can pay it, especially right now with the market. So what I'm saying that it's still like fear. Um, it's okay. It's okay to feel that. If you have that's in your heart that you know what, that this is something that can actually help me. And Kelly, you're absolutely right. Us women, we just need to ask ourselves. We have intuition, right? Yeah. Intuition tells us what to do. So for all the ladies who are on the fence or feel fear, just know that it's okay to feel that way. Mm. Okay. Just ask yourself, is this the right, is this the decision that is going to serve me? Not now, now as well, but also in the future. And if you say yes, of course, do it. And again, as I said, sales skill is the number one skill especially in recession, since we're going in recession. It's one of the skills that is recession proof. Everyone, every company will need salespeople, every yeah. company. And usually they're the last one to go because it's the lifeline of every company's and it's sales. Mm-hmm. I love it. Hell yeah. I love your tonality too. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What six hour six meetings with people, my tonality gets better and better. <laughs> you're gonna fail so you're like doing the pauses. It's so good. It's resonating. I love it. I um I really honor you. I appreciate you so much, you know, for being here today. You know, for anyone else that wants to be able to make fifty thousand dollars in sales, you know, in a new industry or that just wants to make at least, you know, ten K months, like just bust it right now. Like you get to you get to make money in your life. You know, I'm not saying that it happens overnight. Rome is not built in a day, you know, but being somewhere, being a sponge for at least 30 days to 60 days to learn the skills so that you can start implementing them, right? You're going to be on a path to where you can like double or triple what you're making right now. Uh, sales changed my life. I don't know if they have they impacted your life, Elena, a little bit. Uh, absolutely. A little bit. Absolutely. Again, now I have a second source of income. You know, it's another stream of income. Yeah. No, if, if you are watching this right now and this is you talking to you, babe, yeah, message us. I'm happy to support you any way that we can. Elena, where can we find you? I know your Instagram handles are here. I know you have a Facebook group as well. What's the Facebook group? It's not the Facebook. It's just on Facebook page. Um, to tell you the truth, my clients have been referring to me to, oh my gosh, <laughs> Things are happening, hey, Gila, and I'm so excited, you know. Um, so I guess the best way to reach me uh, is on Instagram, Elena under, underscore Navi. Perfect. So we'll put it right there for you. So reach out to Elena if you need a funnel belt or if, you know, you just want to ask her where she gets her hair done. All the things <laughs> right here. Um, but we love you. Thank you so much, Elena, for being here. I appreciate it.
Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>